Hey guys, it's Candy and I am getting ready to flat iron, well, yeah, to curl my blown out kinky straight crochet hairstyle. Yes, as promised, I'm going to be showing you guys how I curl it. I'm using my Babyliss Nano Titanium flat iron for this um, process and I'm trying to curl it, but I'm quickly realizing that I probably needed to use a barrel um curler for this but i'm just going ahead now and just you know keeping it straight not trying to create too much curls but just to straighten it so it has less of a kinky look and more of a straightened look so i'm just going a small section at a time pretty much row by row separating the hair and just using the flat iron to smooth out the hair i did put the the initial setting on the curling iron on i think 25 but i don't think that was hot enough and so i increased it to 35 and that was perfect this this flat iron goes all the way up i'm not sure if it's the 80 but this is actually one of the best flat irons on the market at least is at least it was back in the day when i got it it was chances are there are maybe you know other technologies or different brands that are better but this is by far and i've had this for many, many over 10 years and it's still you know in tip-top shape so just making sure that i brush the hair out before and i'm adding a little bit of my nourishing oil blend to the hair and i quickly realized that once i added the oil it even made it easier and gave it a nicer shine once I flat ironed it and so just I just continue to do that um, throughout the process. Now if you haven't seen the video showing how I installed this hair and all of the information about the hair, the type of hair and such the like, you definitely want to watch that video. But I was super duper um, surprised to know that you can actually flat iron braiding hair like back in the day when i used to get braiding hair if i dared to put a flat iron anywhere close to it it would be a melted mess i'm not even kidding you but i guess they have improved over the years yes and shout out to bobby boss because this bobby boss canicolon braiding hair held up 100 percent to the heat as would any human hair okay so don't don't sleep on this type of hair if you are on a budget and you want to have that straightened look and you're you're not willing to go up to the the human hair price point trust me this is a good option and it's actually um heat friendly so that's what i'm doing i'm just continuing to to straighten it um i'm now on the last pieces pretty much this is how it is but guys when i thought about the fact that the event that I will be attending is more of a dressy formal event. Then I decided that I would just own fit up a little bit. So for the roots, now I'm realizing that even though I was um, flat ironing the hair, the roots were not, you know, being straightened enough. And so it was kind of on the poofier side towards the root. So I'm going in with the flat iron in the root area just to make sure that I smooth out those areas also which would make it lay flatter and look, you know, nice and sleek. All right. All right. So we're finishing up that part. And guys, <laughs> again, am I the only one that was in the dark concerning the flat ironing of this type of hair? All right. So this is how the back looks. It still looks like kinky straight, but it looks way more, um, silky it's more movable and i'm just adding a little bit more of my one true natural nourishing oil blend to add a little bit more shine and to sleek or smooth down any flyaways that might be present yeah and again guys be sure to check out the installation video to see how i installed it actually to have two videos showing how i installed um this type of hair the first one was uh, um, maybe over a month ago and you guys pretty much you know pointed out some some very obvious flaws in that one and I decided to try my hand at the style again this time in my own head 
So here I'm just cleaning up the edge of the, the ends of the, the hair and giving it somewhat of an angular bob look. And it would be good to wear straightened like this, no problem. But I decided to add some flexi rods, some of the small sized flexi rods in the hair real quick. I only had 30 minutes to spare. So I really didn't have much expectations in terms of it even adding any curls in that short space of time. But I decided to try and now I'm going to be undoing them because I have to be running out momentarily. So once I removed the first flexi rod, you guys, it was game over. I was surprised that the hair actually curled so fast. Come on now. I was super duper pleasantly surprised that the hair was, um, it actually took the curls in such a short space of time. So yeah, this is my go-to um, approach, especially if I do not have a black barrel curler i feel like the the flexi rods cause it to hold on and to set the curls even better and cause the curls to last longer so i'm pretty happy that i tried this step love the outcome love it love it love it yes come through with the bounce come through with the curls yes shake it girl mm -hmm. look at nice watch nice <laughs> all right again a little bit more oil to help to um, make it easier to separate the curls. I do not want to disturb them too much. I'm literally just running my hands through them and just pretty much splitting them into half and fluffing them just ever so slightly, guys, because I'm trying to make those curls last. I have a long trip ahead, so I want for the curls to um, yeah, remain intact until I get to my destination. But guys, this looks so good and it was so much more suitable for my formal event. This is amazing. I definitely will be doing this hairstyle in my head again, no doubt. This will definitely be a go-to look for me when I want something that's nice, quick, and yeah, even though it's a little bit of maintenance involved, it's worth it, yes. So this is all I wanted to show you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button so that you guys can join the Natural Hair Dynamics gang. And we will catch up on my next one. Bye.